Now we're rolling. We're rolling now. Perfect. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Rotoscopers YouTube channel. I have the great opportunity to be able to introduce some of my favorite people today. Ted Swartz, who is he is putting together a live action version of the Goofy movie. And we first had his first take of this was about 13 years ago. So we're back. <laughs> and of course, because he did such a great job, we leveled up and he was able to get the actual voices for Goofy and Max. So. We're pretty excited to be here today. Like 13 years ago when we did After Today, we were huge fans of a Goofy movie and we wanted to do a recreation of something and you know, everything else seemed to be out of our reach and we we're like, wait, uh, you know, Max is just a kid walking to school. We walk to school. <laughs> and that's how it came about. <laughs> it was like, because it was so relatable and um, like, yeah, we, we love it from the very beginning and so, we, we, we made the shot to shot and not having any idea how far it would go or how big it would go. And uh, um, I, it was when we finally got to like meet you, Bill, at, uh, it was one of the D23s. I was upstairs, Rex, my brother Rex was downstairs and your wife ran into him. But Rex tells the story better. Yeah, so we were just walking around, we were all wearing After Today shirts and we made that had a QR code so people could just scan it and go watch the YouTube video. Nice. And you know, trying to promote our, our YouTube video, how big it was and everything. And, and uh, suddenly this lady stops me in the middle of everything and she goes, did you work on this video? And I was like, yeah, we did. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of the creators of it. And she goes, you have to meet my husband. And I'm like, I don't know why I asked, but I asked, who's your husband? And, uh, you know, she's like, Bill Farmer, and I'm immediately like, you know, as she's dragging me across the convention center, being like, Ted, get down here! <laughs> and I, like, and you were sitting at a table signing, you know, signing autographs, and from my memory, your wife comes up, like, pushes everybody out of the way, and goes, yeah, oh, like, wait, these are the boys that created that YouTube good. video! <laughs> And uh, yeah. it was amazing. We actually have video up on Facebook of, you know, that we posted of like, here's this meeting Bill Farmer. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was, uh, ever since I saw the video on, on YouTube, people have talked about it. Oh, you, have you seen the live action video? And no, let me, finally I did. And it was just blown away with, uh, by it because you had the animated movie kind of in a, a corner screen and the live action and the shots were, Immaculate. They were matching exactly, uh, word to word, and I was just blown away by the talent. And uh, so when you called and said, you know, would you be interested in doing this? Yes. And would you like uh, Jason? Have you talked to him? <laughs> yeah. uh, well, let's. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. And here we are. And here he is. <laughs> here he is. And even yeah, at the time we, we first because we wanted we we're like with the first video we we're like well, let's get Bill to be goofy in it and we had no idea how to contact you then at that time and when we finally met you you're we said that and you're like well i would have done it yeah, yeah. that Absolutely. blew our little minds <laughs> <laughs> and then we we met jason at another d23 at the the 20th, the 20th anniversary, anniversary. One. yes that was a good uh, time that was it was amazing that hall was packed yes yeah. with people yeah. still wanting to get in that they wouldn't let in. Yeah, we felt like the Beatles. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Yeah. That was amazing. I measured it was like two minutes and forty some seconds standing ovation at the end of that really? thing. So they wow. must have really liked. And we were the number one highest rated uh, panel. And it, before that, our panel wasn't even rated in the top ten that you should see. Really. But we were number one, and we beat out the Star Wars panel, and they had uh, George Lucas and Harrison Ford. Once so, again, Uncle Disney you know, doesn't believe in us. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's the little movie that could. Right? It really is. Oh, I think it is. There's more people every year that love a Goofy movie. It, it only grows. Yeah. So it yeah, seems. It really does. Uh, that's, I mean, you words were bills. You, you watched it, and then you grow up, and you show it to your kids, and, yeah. and they, they seem to, to dig it. it I'm, I'm pleased that it... it oh, stands a test of time. Yeah, and it's been like 26 years, something like that, mm -hmm. since it came out. Yeah. And now we're getting, uh, you know, dads. I saw it when I was a kid. Yes. It me feel old. <laughs> and now my kid, we, yeah. you know, uh, uh, we watch it together, and so many 
people have said, you know, I couldn't talk to my father until that movie came out, yeah. and it kind of brought us together. And that's yeah. really the, the special part of it. Yeah. Wow, that is really cool. So how did that's kind of how this whole thing move forward? What made you want to go ahead and make? Lester's possum. <laughs> we always wanted to do another one from a goofy movie because we love it so much. We thought about open road and I thought, okay, a whole bunch of cars in front of green screens because like we have no budget, we right. have nothing. I work at a college. Rex works at a battery company and gets to help design and produce the videos and like it was like so we just have to do what we can do, but we still want to be doing these things. <laughs> Um, and we, we thought, um, my brain runs faster than my mouth can. <laughs> <laughs> so with Lester's, I had just like read a book recently that was like, find your zone of genius and kind of thing. And it was like, <laughs> it was like, well, I'm not really satisfied at work right now. Where, where do I want to be? And I, I want to be on an animation team. Mm -hmm that is animating. I'd rather leave the college behind and go animate mm -hmm. uh, with on a team. And so I was like, okay, be doing that now. So I started modeling Lester and going more and more, building the mound and then the stage and then the other characters. And I was like, we can do this. <laughs> we can, this is in our reach. Uh, <laughs> so that, that, and then we reached out. Yeah. And you guys were excited too. Well, like, you showed me yeah. a test of it and I was completely blown away. Blown yeah. away. It just the quality yeah. and the love that you put into uh, into your work. It shows. I'm I'm honored to be here. So. I called your college and told them to fire you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like you don't want this guy. Anymore. He's way beyond. Uh, yeah, he's way, way beyond you guys. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. So. Um, as you guys... Did I call this college? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> now that we know who to blame for this whole thing. <laughs> um, so as you're, we've gone through today, we, we were able to find different people that kind of matched everybody from <laughs> Lester's Possum Farm. And uh, I was wonderful. Like two days ago, Ted, you, you texted me. You're like, hey, we're going to be doing this. You, had no, you did not mention that they were going to be here at all. And you're just like, hey, we're going to be doing this. And I, just from that first one, knowing 13 years ago what you guys did, I was like, I want to be a part of something Ted does. <laughs> Let's do that. So I showed up and they're like, oh yeah, we're, we're doing this whole, everybody's here. I'm like, well, dang. <laughs> it's a thing. This is a thing. Yeah. And so what is what are some things that um, after this project goes, is there another project that you're, you've got on the mind to move forward? Well, um, there's several. There's two um, uh, Schoolhouse Rock videos. Oh, nice. That we'd want to make. I'm Just a Bill would be a lot of, of fun. Yeah, Go yeah. film on Capitol Hill and have like a real boy in like a CG yeah, favorite yeah, character. Yeah. And, or like a conjunction junction would be a lot of fun. Ted's already been modeling out trains and train tracks and stuff for conjunction junction. Outstanding. And then it would be really fun to do the opening of um, uh, Bob's Burgers, oh. but with Kristen Shaw being every single character oh, in the shot. Cool. If you're watching Kristen, yeah, you really should you're, jump you're on the screen. <laughs> yeah. Opportunity awaits. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so from here, what are each what you, what is everybody doing um, that we can help promote as well? So you guys are have your own careers that are bubbling and, and going over after the pandemic is now kind of opening. What's going on now? Uh, well, I live in Nashville, Tennessee, and I I produce a show called the Mars Variety Show. dot com. Please check it out. Subscribe. <laughs> it's a, it's a inspired by the variety shows of the sixties and seventies, designed to boost the, the independent musician and comedian in Nashville. And uh, I'm also still doing the I'm acting, you know, I'm auditioning. I did some, all the stuff I'm booking, I can't talk about because of like NDAs, but uh, there's, right. a, there's a straight to VOD superhero animated thing that's happening. Nice. There's a toy thing that's happening. And, uh, and that, that's, that's, about, that's about it at the moment. Cool. Well, Goofy's keeping me pretty busy after 34 years. Mm -hmm. it, it's That's amazing. not slowing down. Uh, with pandemic, I have a studio at home, and I've been doing a show, uh, Mickey's Fun House, which is on the Mickey Mouse Shorts, called The Wonderful World of Mickey Mouse on Disney+. Plus. I have a live-action show called It's a Dog's Life with Bill Farmer that I executive produced and starred in on Disney+. Plus. And anything else that they need uh, with the goof or anyone else, I'm, I'm for hire. <laughs> Perfect. 
Awesome. I think we already went over me. We already went. And then I, I, I was working video for a long time, and then I've switched over to industrial design, so focusing on uh, product design, and so I do a lot more CAD work, but it's interesting to go where I also do 3D modeling and CAD modeling, which most people would think is the same thing because you end up with a 3D model, but they're completely different mindsets on how you go about hmm. creating the model. And, you know, and so it's fun to... Uh, I, I use both of, both of my worlds when uh, modeling and you know because I, I come up with the realistic renders for for our products at work and but I'll I'll use I'll pull stuff from like Blender you know 3D models I've created there I'll do all the cabling and stuff so it looks much more organic and then I you know but I take our CAD models of our products and I'm able to throw it all together and make really great renders and even you know I'll, I've even had cables like animate moving and so I've been able to help us step up our our, uh, our game when it comes to like our renders on Amazon and other places. Wow. I just decided I also will be giving them my resume. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Awesome. Well, Rotoscopers is still going great. We've got the podcast. You can check it out. Go to rotoscopers.com if you want to find any, out any other information about uh, Ted's videos as well. And thanks for joining us today. Thank you guys for, Thank you. Oh, it's for our doing pleasure. this with Thank me. You. And Thank you guys. Everybody. Our me. pleasure. Everybody's happy now. <laughs> Bye. It went by too fast. Yeah. Almost. I was like, I'm pretty sure there are more shots of Max in the scene. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just can't wait to see it. Oh, I was asked, so how long is it going to take? Probably another month and a half at the minimum. Mm -hmm. Two yeah. months. Also, depending if we're going to get yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Or so if he reach can out. Send I will. I will. Yeah. Yeah. I'll send a message. We're willing to go to him. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it, I know you have, you have your, your regular d day job, so is this like time dedicated like once a week? Like yeah, a like day? usually I'll get home in the evenings and be like, oh, I'm not doing anything else, all right, let's, let's, let's work and, on it. Too. And it is like, this, it's, it's like find your zone of genius where you, you get to a point where you're like, I don't want to go to bed, I want sure. to work on sure, this. Sure. Like, yeah. yeah. I, at the beginning of modeling it, I, I did like the stage and everything in like two weeks, and yeah, I'd find myself being like 3 a.m. again. <laughs> yeah. I know you're doing what you should be doing. I'm excited because we'll actually be putting the render of uh, his. The, oh, behind the us. Behind us, oh, that'd yes. Be perfect. So we'll have less. We'll be in Lester's possum fire. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. And you don't. And, and you don't have to 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 light the green screen. I noticed. Like you don't have yeah. to hot the green screen. Or get rid of the like, wrinkles. Oh. If you can work with it in that. A lot of the software today is extremely intelligent on detecting. Yeah, so you don't have to have it lit perfectly or it gets off or anything. Yeah, like I, I'm blown away many times where I just put the filter on it once and how much it cleans up. I'm like, like put before it in the you tweak. even touch anything, like yeah. you know, just the auto. Well, I remember agonizing over like yeah. FCP before 10. It's like, ah, oh, it's just, no, there's some yeah. weird little stuff yeah. over here. <laughs> and the thing is, cameras more and more are just having the better color space, whereas, mm -hmm. like, the first camera test we did for, with this, like, you know, we had the camera, and we went, and, like, it was having a hard time with the folds, mm -hmm. and we swapped out to a newer camera, and just super clean. And wow. it's like, all right, we're using that camera. <laughs> Outstanding. <laughs> no, no question. Outstanding. So I've got a question for y'all as voice actors. Most people, when I talk to them, and they're like, I always hate hearing my voice on recordings. Do you feel the same, or do you feel like your voice is your voice when you hear a recording? I, I, that's why I like to change my voice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to hear myself. Um, the hardest part is that we don't sound the same to ourselves as when you do on a tape. So I was trying to learn voices and characters by listening back. Not by, I get the way it feels when I do it, but it doesn't necessarily translate. You gotta hear it back and then adjust according to the tape. So, oh, I gotta push that more, or you know, maybe a higher voice would be better. And you can, hearing for me is better. Yeah, it's, it's I, don't, I don't mostly listen, focus on the sound of my voice and the performance yeah. of it. And I, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I like listening to myself. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I enjoy it. Push, either push myself or... You know, yeah, I, this, I, parts of me still can't believe I've been doing this as long as I have been. And it's all about the acting. I mean, mm -hmm. there's so many people that don't have a, a wide variety of voices, but they're great actors, and that's what counts. Yep. When you were little kids, were you, want, were you wanting to be actors? Or did you... Oh, I 
I did, uh, you know, when I was a little kid, yeah, I just, I love, I was in the middle of Kansas in a way there's no outlet for that kind of stuff at all. Um, but yeah, it was always with me. I always loved going to the movies and watching cartoons and stuff, but never thinking that it would actually occur. And so I was about 35 before I even got out to Hollywood. And luckily, uh, Goofy was my first big audition out there. So wow. Really? Wow. And I'm going, One and I should done. have done this years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but I just got lucky, right place, right time. And Goofy was my favorite Disney character, so I practiced the voice and stuff. And uh, you know, who, knew? who knew? Yeah. And it's amazing how many actors there are. I've heard like there's 160,000 SAG members in LA, and they're all potential people trying out for the same jobs. You know, mm -hmm. so getting if you do one out of a hundred auditions, you're doing fine. You know, because yeah. it's just there's that many great people that are doing this. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Wow. Well, Jason, you've start you started out in TV, mm -hmm. right? And then. At what point in time did you decide, I'd rather do voice acting? It was or... never a decision. I've actually been doing voice acting when I started acting. Uh, when oh, okay. I, I was 12, and my agent just sent me out for everything. And I did commercials, I did TV. The, my first cartoon was Disney's Adventures of the Gummy Bears when I was 12. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and they were recording DuckTales up the, up the hallway. Uh, uh, and I don't know if it was like a conscious decision, but like my on-camera career, I think it was shifting. And uh, I, I, I was just booking more voiceovers. So I just kind of, I just went on that train yeah. instead. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's like a river; it just takes you where it yeah. wants to go. Exactly. And when it comes with money, you follow. Yeah, that's you follow it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, working every day, and yeah, yeah. The, the odds of you know booking were, were were up at the time. So yeah, totally. As far as be, like when I was a kid, yeah. Uh, I mean. I'd watch Nickelodeon and want to be, you know, do all those shows. I just never thought. I'm from Rhode Island originally, but I never thought that I would get the opportunity to do it until yeah. we moved to California. And your parents just decide to move for you or for... No, just... my, my dad was a, a ballet teacher, so he got a, okay. a gig teaching ballet at Fullerton College. And then while we were there, people were like, oh, your son's cute, you get him into acting. Yeah. My mom went, cha-ching, what a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody. We could do this. So that's that was the driving force. And I'm just like, okay, <laughs> let's do it. Nice. Yeah. Do, do you try to get your son into acting? You know, it's funny. Um, it's just so weird because the big, kids are just born with phones in their hands these days. Yeah. He's so self-aware. You've got to be kind of wacky if you want to do yes. this. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like, yeah, you have to, you have to be able to jump in. Yeah. yeah. And I was... Say I got to put a bill over here on a shelf while I do yes. whatever. I can't worry about how it's coming off. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. takes up your mind doing that when you should be thinking about the character yeah. and just be in the character. A thousand percent. Yeah. And if you can, I always tell students that uh, when I teach that most important thing and I learned this in stand up is entertain yourself. Mm -hmm. You can't yeah. 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 guarantee yeah. you're going to entertain them, but there's more of a chance if you entertain yourself, mm -hmm. they'll be entertained too. Yeah, a thousand percent. I feel like you have to be a bit of an entrepreneur in your heart to be a, an actor or in the arts, because whether you realize it or not, because you are not living the day-to-day -day life of, no. I have a job, I go in, clock in, clock out. And so you have to have a little bit more of the, this is what I'm doing for me and this is how I'm doing it. Um, and whether you realize it or not, I feel like that's kind of where you're at. Yeah, you need two jobs. And I always tell people, what do you need to get into voiceover? And I say, get rich parents. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're going to need that money when you get going. Dude. Yeah. It's tough. It's very competitive. I see what you're saying. I think most actors need to have that. Not, yeah. you know, that was, I don't want to get political, but like frustrating me about, about our union mm -hmm. is that so many of our, our members are so so hesitant to take a risk or stand up for yeah. things that we need to believe in because they don't want to ruffle feathers right. they don't want to lose jobs they don't because they don't want to you know they don't want to yeah. they can't pay their rent or their car yeah. payment i'm like dude you shouldn't be in this business the rug could be pulled out from under you at any time at any time, time. Yeah. At any time. Yeah. you know uh uh like you know you've been goofy for so long but there's no contract that says that Every, yeah, yeah, I'm not a Disney employee, nope. I'm not a, I'm a, like the plumber, you know, yeah, yeah. it's like we come in, I do a job and go home, yeah, every yeah. job's a new yeah. contract. Mm -hmm. No way, every time yeah. they want Goofy, it's like yeah. a new contract. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's, he's, a, 
they, like we mentioned earlier, like like Warner Brothers will, they 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 just seem to recast whatnot. Disney will will stick with their people, yeah. and, and yeah. Billy's a let he's an official legend. You know, so there's there's that aspect to it. But as far as a business, do they have to? No, no they don't. They, they don't have to do that at all. Someone else tomorrow. If they yeah, want. yeah. Do you want to play Goofy till yeah. the end of time? <laughs> I, I love doing it. These last say, words were. Why don't you, uh, why don't you retire? And I said, retire to what? Right. I'm having, I get to do stuff like this. You know, it's fun. Dick Van Dyke is 95, and he's and like, he's, he's like, That's when true. can I go out on another stage? Like he's. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yep. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You get, uh, performers don't give up. I don't mm -hmm. think unless true. they have to. Yeah. So my parents uh, in the Valley owned a Western dinner theater that I grew up performing at for my entire life. That must so have been fun. It was. It was so it was semi-similar to Lester's Possum Farm on that side. Yeah. <laughs> but everybody's on benches, everybody's watching the stage. But I like to hope that we were a lot better than Lester's. But <laughs> 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 I mean, not to toot my own horn. But <laughs> I'm sure, I have a feeling you maybe you were. Um, so we... But that is something that for them, like they traveled around for 13 years in a rock and roll band for years and they just decided, wow. I want to settle down. They had three kids at the time mm -hmm. and then they decided they wanted to, they built off of a seven acre plot of land, a giant western town and people oh, would come in amazing. and they would, they would, uh, they, we would perform for them. It was an all-you-can-eat barbecue beef and chicken dinner and all the things. And then, um, but yeah, it, was, it took them like 35 years and lots of things changing to be able to be like, okay, sure. I guess we're, I guess we can move on to the next step. But it was like kicking and stream, screaming. They would not have let go if, uh, if it was not forced. Good for so. them. Yeah, it's like the real work of this is auditioning. It's the, oh, the yeah. reward is the work. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Except you don't get paid for the uh, the, the, the audition. audition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem. Has that ever happened where you're like, wait, that was just an audition. Why are you using it? Or... No, they can't do that. No. Uh, no, they can't do that. They you got to pay. You. I've had stuff lifted, but uh, I don't think an ever an audition. No, was used. That's they always no -no. read. Uh, that is a no no. But uh, I've certainly had stuff like it. I remember there was a commercial with uh, Pluto in it, and. You know, Pluto just bit a bubble, like for some bubble toy or something, and it, like that. And I heard that, and I said, well, that's a voiceover, but I don't remember doing that. And I started getting checks. Oh. And they just lifted it off something Disney had. But they did the paperwork right. And I there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so it wasn't a problem then. No, that wasn't no. a problem. Once the checks are coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go for yeah. it. Less work for me. Yeah. Those are the kind of jobs you like. Yeah. Yeah, it makes you think of D. Bradley Baker. We met him at D23. And he does the voice of Perry the Platypus. Mm -hmm. And we and we also asked him about other characters he's done. And he said that for other shows, he goes in and does a new recording for every single episode. He said he's done one recording for Perry, like walked into the studio, made that noise. They just and, like, made a little out. library of sounds. It's the exact same recording every yeah. time. And then he gets paid for an episode. Yep. yep. That is a, that's a dream job, yeah, man. That's a nice job. <laughs> Ten yeah. minutes of work. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Outstanding. Yeah. Yeah, I missed that guy. Yeah, he's does great. All the yeah. Like, he does so much. If everyone asks about, like, how do I get into voiceover, I direct them to his website. He made a website called yeah. IWantToBeAVoiceActor.com. Yeah. Answers yeah. questions that everyone should yeah. know before they <laughs> yes. jump into this. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. That is cool. The, uh, so, uh, Rusey Taylor. Yes. Am I saying her name? Yep. The, when she died, we were sitting around. The kids are playing. We got a four year old. She was three at the time. Three year old girl. And I'm like, oh. Voice of Minnie Mouse time, and she was about to crack. Mm -hmm. Like, just three year old Minnie Mouse time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why'd you say that? It's like, no, 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 no. Minnie Mouse did it. <laughs> she ran into her room. Her good friend. Put on her Minnie Mouse hat, put on her Minnie Mouse shirt, oh. and pulled all of She has like She's three or four her. Minnie yeah. Mouse dolls. Yeah. And she pulled them all out, and she walked out to us and was like, I have Minnie Mouse. Oh. Like, she's not dead. Right. <laughs> we, we got to do a. Uh, an event where they, they flew us and all the other voice actors, uh, Wayne and Rusi, Mickey and Donald and, and uh, uh, Susan, uh, uh, Susan yeah. Blakesley. No, no, it's Blakesley. Who's yeah. uh, Cruella. Uh, Cruella. Cruella. Yeah. yeah. And um, we're promoting something and then they bring us into the, the, uh, the Disney uh, radio booth. And, uh, and for fun, we're going on the radio. We're just improvising. And yeah. do you remember this? 
and uh, you're Pluto, you're doing, oh, 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 and Mickey and Minnie are there, and Cruella's being Cruella, like, oh, Pluto, I'm going to turn you into a jacket, oh, da, da, da. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> so we go off the air, and we're laughing, because we know we're a bunch of clever actors, and then the DJ calls us, she's like, uh, there's a little girl who's crying because she thinks that Corella's going to murder Pluto. <laughs> and Rusi... It was me crying. Yeah. Rusi, without missing a beat, she's like, like, I got this. So go back on the air, and then Rusi, as Minnie, is talking to this little girl on the air, saying like, Oh, hey, no, don't you worry about Pluto's right here, and Pluto's barking, yeah. and, and Cruella's right here, and Cruella's, you know, she's really got a good heart, and... and Explaining in a way just put the girl at ease. All of us were just crying. Oh. Yeah. But that's like the. the, the I mean, Rusi was so earnest, so talented. She and Wayne I, were Mickey they, and yeah, they, yeah. Were, they, they were. Uh, they were not married when I started. They were married to other people. They were both in bad marriages, but they fell in love doing the job. Both got divorced and then married. Wait, and they were. Got married? Yeah. 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 They didn't want that out there. They thought it took away from the characters and didn't want it to be the big thing. So they fair. kept that pretty much a secret. Yeah. But he'd uh, he'd do interviews. He'd have a little ukulele yeah. and they'd have songs they'd work on together. Like it was mm-hmm. the most. My treasured uh, moments is like watch, getting to watch them do their their thing. Oh. Yeah. That's really yeah. sweet. <laughs> Well, where was the verdict on lunch? <laughs> I had, I did not have, um, days like this, I can't have breakfast because I'm too nervous. Yeah. So, so you're probably was, ravishing right now. There was some talk about a, a pizza place with a, an obnoxious organ. Yeah. It, that doesn't open till four. Oh, okay. good. And, uh, I don't want to go there anyway. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I think we had to have you at the airport at four. Um, but there was... There was a mention of right deep dish pizza. There's That's great. Right. Right. Oregano's, Oregon, no. or <laughs> I, uh, oregano's, and yeah, they got a whole range of things, and so I think that's great. Sounds good. Let's continue the combo yeah. that way. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much, Justin. Thank you so much.